don't beat your shit. You know what I fucking realize? I, I be doing a lot on this podcast. I be trying to say, yo, get up, beat your shit, go and go about your day. I found out recently that if you do that too much or even just do it at all, it drains your energy. It gives you more anxiety. I'm just like, okay. Which is funny because I would have thought that's like a, a stress relief thing. But it makes sense because after I'm <laughs> after I'm done beating my shit, I'm like, you fucking dirty motherfucker. Not as much now. I feel like when I was little, it was worse. Oh, my God. When I was little and I went to church, it was the worst. It was the probably the worst time. Because when I was little, I probably went to church up until if you guys are long listeners of the podcast, we're 78 episodes deep. You guys know at this point that I went to church literally until I was like 15, probably consistently. And that shit got like every Sunday just jammed a new a new uh, a new lesson or the same one over and over again. My favorite ones that that traumatized me was every week it was uh, God is coming. The world is ending. Repent. We have to turn. These are the end of times. We have to repent. We have to turn to God. These are the end of times. So I would go home with that in my head and raging hormonal me at 15, 16, who just started being his meat. We'll, we'll start being as me because I couldn't fucking stop. When you're that little, you can't stop. You, you, you just keep going and going and going and going and going. Every fucking day, every fucking night, every fucking night. You know what I'm saying? So you just whack, 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 whack. You bust the nut. And then after, at that age especially, I look at myself. I'm like, damn, you're a fucking animal, dude. Like, you're, a f- you're fucking disgusting. I can't, I can't even believe we just did this right now. Like, this is me and my hor- and my hormones, my teenage hormones talking to each other at 16. Beating your shit, fucking busting that nut, and then be like, you fucking animal. You fucking animal, you. How the, how could you? How could you do this to us? God's not fucking happy. You know what we're going to do? We're going to fucking wipe this shit up. We're going to throw the fucking towel under the bed for mom to pick up next morning and wonder why it's so crusty. And we're going to fucking pray right now. We're going to pray. And every night I would fucking, I would beat my, it was this, it was this process. I would beat my shit, bust that nut, have that realization of like, you're fucking disgusting. And then pray after and ask God to forgive you for jerking off. I wish I was fucking joking and I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I was retarded. I st- I'm still am. I still am retarded. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> so I do that now still. But on some real shit, I, 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 I read about that. I had that discovery. My boy Serge. Shout out to Serge. Serge put me on and then I researched it. It, it, dra- it drains you, which that part makes sense. It takes away your energy, but it causes anxiety. I'm going to look it up right now. I do this shit on the podcast all the time. I don't know why I'm not doing it now. Your boy's a bit rusty. Um, masturbating cons. There's pros, obviously. Too much of masturbation can cause not only fatigue in the physical and psychological sense, but it can also lower, cause lower back pain. Okay. Oh, this is actually an article on pros and cons. <laughs> masturbation is not a sin. What? <laughs> It has been seen through time that there have there has been a lot of misconceptions over masturbation. It was considered taboo in the 18th and 19th century and regarded as a mental issue of a person. I kind of feel like it is. But the, the but the perception has changed over time and masturbation is now considered to be a normal, natural, healthy activity done in private. It is now accepted as an activity which is not only pleasant but also safe. Okay, a lot of things are okay now, but you know, we'll get to that another time. Some of the common reasons why people indulge in masturbation are masturbation enables one to give pleasures to himself and feel a sense of happiness through the release of endorphins. It is a means to release stress and build up sexual tension. That one's true. It allows a person to get to know more about his own body. How that's that's that reason is fucking bullshit. Some horny nigga wrote that one. Cause how how much how much are you gonna learn about your body through how many strokes? There's only so much you could fucking learn about your body. Masturbation myths. It causes acne, blindness, insanity, or excessive hair growth. 
It causes injury to the genitals. Um, affects sperm count. Um, all right. Side effects. Ooh, there's a sense of guilt and shame associated with masturbation due to age old traditional belief based on culture and religion that there's, that's where it came from. Some people become addicted to masturbation and spend a lot of time doing it, which disrupts their daily life activities. It also affects their social life and relationships as they prefer being in their own company. That never happens. I love being inside. You know what? Sometimes masturbation can affect a man's sensitivity during sex as having a tight grip on one's penis can decrease sensation. Too much of that. This is the one that I read. Masturbation also affects the sexual life of a couple as getting an erection or achieving an erection is not possible without masturbation. There was another one. There was like a deep one that I read about it. uh, Masturbating and testosterone. About it fucking with your testosterone. Here we go. It doesn't decrease it, but it uh, it definitely drains your energy. That's why box when you you read about boxers not busting a nut before a fight. So yeah, I don't know why I went down this whole rabbit hole right now. It's just what happens. Welcome back. Um yeah, do the right thing. That was that's what I was getting at. Do the right thing for your mental health. Find find what you got to do. Uh, whatever you do, don't do that too much. I'm just, I'm not even to be to be to to be uh frank with you guys, I'm not even doing it anymore to be real with you. Um <laughs> This is definitely a conversation to be had in private, but you niggas know me. I get a laugh out of everything. 